वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द लेक्चर नंबर नाइन ऑफ चैप्टर पाइथन प्रोग्रामिंग फंडामेंटल्स ओके सो इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट सम प्रोग्राम्स रिलेटेड टू द अर्थमेटिक ऑपरेटर्स ओके एंड दीज आर सम प्रोग्राम्स दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड ओके and you can do these uh, uh, two programs like write a program to find area and perimeter of a circle and uh, write a program to find total and percentage of a student in five subjects so these programs you can do yourself now i am going to discuss a new program in the arithmetic operator series and the last program that i am going to discuss is basically write a program to find net salary of an employee where net is equal to basic minus pf minus tax and pf is 10% of basic and tax is 5% of basic okay so first of all let's prepare the <coughs> logic building for it and once the logic is ready then we will start making the program okay <coughs> so uh, for uh, that i just open the black screen okay i hope you have seen the program okay we have to find the net salary of an employee where net is equal to basic minus pf minus tax pf is 10% of basic and tax is 5% of basic right so let us do this program <coughs> all right so <coughs> let's begin so basically the first thing that we have to see is what is basically the aim of my program okay so the aim of my program is to find the net salary right so we have to find the net salary in this question so basically the next thing that arise that is what is basically the formula for finding the net salary okay as we want to find the net salary so we have to first look out look at the formula that what is basically the formula for finding the net salary of an employee right <coughs> when we see that whether the formula is given in the question right or the formula is already defined so you know that uh, in mathematics there is no formula defined for finding the net salary right there is no formula for finding the net salary it is we had don't have any kind of universal formula for it right so <coughs> so we will see in this question the formula for finding the net salary is given to us it is not defined okay so what is given that net salary is basically equal to the basic right let us take b as basic minus p as provident fund and then minus t as tax right so the formula for finding the net salary is given to us okay in this question now <coughs> after seeing that what is the aim of my program right and i get this formula then the next thing that i have to do is basically the data collection part right the next part that i have to perform is basically the data collection so we will see that how we get the values of different these different variables first we see the value of basic okay whether the value of basic is given to us whether any criteria is given to us for finding the basic or we have to take it from user okay so in the question that is given to us the value of basic salary is not given to us okay as well as the any criteria for finding the basic is also not given to us so what we have to do we have to take the value of basic from the user right <coughs> now after that we come to the provident fund that is pf okay so we have to see that how we can obtain the value of pf we will check whether the value of pf is given to us or any criteria is there for it or we have to take it from user okay in the question 
the value of pf is not given it is no not given anywhere that the value of pf is 1000 2000 no the exact value of pf is not given in the question <coughs> but uh, in the question it is given that pf is 10% of basic right so it means the criteria for finding the pf is given in the program okay in the program the criteria for finding the pf is given and what is the P criteria that pf is basically this is 10% of right it is given to us that it is 10% of basic okay so the criteria is given to us for the provident fund that is it is basically 10% of the basic whatever be the value of basic pf is 10% of it now the next thing the last thing that we have to find is basically the tax right and when we see the question the value of tax is also not given to us but the criteria for finding the value of tax is given to us okay and in the question the criteria is given that tax is basically 5% of basic okay so the criteria is basically the tax is 5% of basic okay so now you can see that <coughs> these are the steps for the data collection okay so once we have collected the data then we have to do the next thing is basically the process part right so now we have collected the value of all variables required for the for finding the net salary okay and now we have to do the process part because we this is the formula we have so we have to get the values of all these three variables and in the data collection part we have obtained the value of all these variables so in the process what we are going to do we are simply going to find the value of net that is basically equal to the value of basic right minus pf and then the value of tax okay <coughs> now <coughs> once you get the value of net salary then the last thing that you have to do is basically you have to find the you have to show the result okay so the last thing is that you have to view the result okay so in the result we are going to show the value of net salary right but you know in this we have already calculated the pf value of pf we also calculated the value of tax so what we can do in this question we will display the value of pf also tax also and obviously net to we have to show because the main program is basically to show the net salary of the employee okay so this is basically the uh, logic building of the question which we have discussed so let us make the program of this question okay now uh so uh let us make the program <coughs> this is my python shell i open a new file for it for the program okay and now uh what i'm going to do let's do the program okay so first we will take the value of basic so we will take the value of basic from input so uh, first we have to write int okay and suppose if we take the value of basic in decimal also so we will take the float right then we use input and then we write enter basic salary is equal to this this okay so now we get the base uh, basic salary from the user okay and you can and you know that for provident fund the criteria is basically 10% of basic so pf is basically 10% of basic and how we will find the 10% of basic is basically uh, either we can write basic in multiply by 10 by 100 or we can write 0.1 right so 
if we multiply it by 0.1 obviously then we will get the 0.1 is basically 10 percent because 10 upon 100 is 0.1 and the value of tax is uh, basically the criteria given for tax is 5 percent of basic so we will write basic multiply by 0 0.05 right now uh, <coughs> now we have obtained the value of basic pf tax so the last thing that we have to find the process step we have to do okay so in the process step we will solve the equation that basic minus pf minus tax okay so this is the equation and now when the process part overs then we have to show the value of pf tax and the net salary to the user so for that we simply write the program like print uh, provident fund is equal to comma pf then print income tax is equal to comma tax print net salary is equal to comma net okay so in this way we are displaying the value of every variable okay so this is basically the program now I'm going to run it okay but you know that before running the program first we have to save it so save <coughs> now the save window opens okay and over there we have to give the name of the file so we will give the name as program you can see that these are the list of programs we have already created so we give the name as program 5 underscore cs11 okay so now the program is saved okay so let's run it and see the result so f5 it is asking me about the net salary so suppose i have given the net salary as 15000 so you can see that we are getting the provident fund as 1500 because 10% 10 of 15000 is 1500 and similarly 5% 5 of 15000 is 750 so after subtracting these value we are getting this net salary okay so this is the question which we have solved now okay so let's see some more questions now uh, we have a question given over here <coughs> that is uh, write a program to find net bill of a telephone customer okay we have to find the net bill of a telephone customer right <coughs> let me open the notepad so uh, that i can write the logic building of this question simultaneously okay so uh, let's begin with this question so uh, in the question it is given write a program to find net bill of a telephone customer right so the aim of my program is to find net bill okay so for finding the net bill what uh, either the formula is universally defined or it is given in the question but you can see that it is written where net bill is equal to bill plus service tax it is given that net bill is equal to bill plus service tax okay so the uh, criteria is given to us so the formula is given okay so we can say that the formula is given and what is basically the formula given that is net is equal to bill one just second net is equal to bill plus service underscore tax so this is basically the formula given to us and we have to basically solve it right so the next uh, part is basically the data collection part okay now in the data collection part first we have to find the value of bill okay now we will check whether the value of bill is given no the value of bill is not given to us right because nowhere given that the value of uh, bill is 5000 10000 nothing nothing is given but we, when we uh, talk about the criteria right so yes the criteria is given that you can see that over here it is given that bill is equal to monthly rent 
plus call charges plus SMS charges. Okay, so this is basically the case. Okay, so uh, now you can see that <coughs> the criteria given to us is for finding the bill that bill is equal to let's take MR for monthly rent plus CC for call charges and SC for SMS charges. So basically this is my formula for finding the bill. Okay. So obviously if we want to find the value of bill, so first of all we have to solve this criteria. Let's see the value of first MR. Okay. In this case, if you see the entire program, the MR value is not given to you and also the value of monthly rent criteria is also not given so in the question there is nothing given that you can find the monthly rent by this formula okay so you have to take the monthly rent from the val value from the user okay now the next is basically cc that is basically the call charge right when you read the question in the question that uh, if when it is given where net bill is equal to bill plus service tax and bill is equal to monthly rent plus call charges plus SML char SMS charges and after that it is given that call rate is 1.2 per call SMS rate is 0 0.8 per SMS and service tax is 10% of bills okay now you can see that in this case there is nowhere given that uh, the value what will be the value of call charge neither any criteria is given now in this case there is a hidden criteria for it how you see over here it is given that call rate is 1.2 per call okay so the rate of a single call is given to us right so how we can find the total number of call charges so in this question the call rate is given to us but suppose if we have the number of calls and when we multiply the number of calls with 1.2 then obviously we get the call charges right so in this case you have to find the number of calls you have to take the number of calls from user and when you multiply it by 1.2 you will get the call charges right because in this question call charges is not directly given to you rather than a criteria is given that call charge call rate is basically this so obviously once you have to get the value of number of calls then you multiply the number of calls with call rate and then you get the call charges similarly when we talk about the sms charges so obviously in this question the sms rate is given to us that is 0 0.8 per sms so, but for for finding the sms charge obviously we should have the number of sms with us then we multiply the number of sms with 0 0.08 sorry uh, 0 0.8 okay and then when we multiply it by 0 0.8 then we obviously get the sms charges right so uh, once we get all these values then we simply find the value of bill that is a monthly rent from plus call charges plus sms charges right so once we get the bill then also we can find out the uh, service tax because you can see that for solving this formula we want the value of the variables which is at the right side of the equal to okay so for bill the criteria is given that bill is equal to monthly rent plus cloth charge plus sms charge so obviously we will solve get the values of all these three variables and when we add this we get the value of bill now what will be the value of service tax service tax is given as the service tax is 10 percent of bill okay so how we are going to find the service tax that is bill multiply by it is 10 percent so you know we can write 10 percent as 0 0.1 because 10 percent means 10 upon 100 and when we solve 10 upon 100 we will get the value as 0 0.1 okay so now uh, once this data collection part is over then we have the value of bill with us as well as service tax with us okay so now once we get the value then we do the final process and that is net is equal to bill plus service tax and in the result what we have to do we have to simply show the value of net right and in meanwhile we want to if we want to show some other values like what are the call charges okay suppose we want to show the call monthly rent value okay 
we want to show the call charges we can show the sms charges we can show the bill amount we can show the service tax and also we can show the net okay so now we have completed the data collection they sorry uh, logic building of this question now on the basis of this logic building let's design the program okay so uh, this is my program and uh, let me first remove the previous thing okay and now i'm going to make the program with respect to this logic building all right so let's see first thing is that to find aim aim is to find the net bill the formula for finding the net bill is bill plus service tax okay so as i told you that we have to begin from the data collection part the first thing that i have to find is bill so the value of bill is given no the criteria is given yes that bill is equal to monthly rent plus call charges plus sms charges so first we have to get the values of all these add them to find the bill so the monthly rent we have to take it from user so let's write the first line that mr is equal to int input <coughs> enter monthly rent okay so now we have the value of monthly rent with us okay now next thing that we have to find the call charges and you know that the criteria which we have established over here for finding the call charges first we want to know the number of calls okay so we have taken a variable noc int <coughs> input enter number of calls okay and after that we have to uh, once we get the number of calls then obviously we can simplify the call charges and that is noc multiplied by 1.2 okay now after that we have to find the sms charge okay we have to find this sms charge but for finding the sms charge we have to take number of sms first from the user so let's take the value of nos that is for number of sms so int input <coughs> enter number of sms equal to okay so once i get the number of sms then i can simply find the sms charge as number of sms multiply by sorry uh, 0.8 okay so now i have the monthly rent with me call charges with me and the sms charges with me so all these three values will be collected right so once we get all these three values then simply we will put these values in the formula to find the bill right so bill is equal to that is monthly rent plus uh, call charges plus sms charges right now once we get the bill with us then we will find the service tax and what is service tax it is given as 0 10% of the bill right so this is the expression for finding the service tax so we simply use this expression that bill multiply by 0.1 okay so now the service tax is also ready with us so now we have completed our data collection part then we have to go for the process part and in the process part what we have to do we have to simply find the bill net bill that is bill plus service tax okay so net is equal to bill plus st that is service tax so once everything is calculated then the final thing that the result part and in the result part we have to show the value of every variables okay so uh, we will start with the print you know the monthly rent is already given by the user so we will simply go with the call charges okay so we will write call charges is equal to rupees comma cc okay similarly after that we will write print sms charges is equal to rupees comma sc for the sms charge okay then print after that uh, we will take we will get the value of bill so uh, just we write bill amount comma bill and then uh, we have to find the show the value of service tax service tax is equal to 
comma st and then finally i have to show the value of net bill net bill okay in the question it, it is given to me to just to find the value of net but i am also displaying the value of other variables so that uh, i can see that what are the <coughs> values that are stored in these variables okay so now my program is ready okay and you can note it down the entire program so let me first run this program but before running this program i will save it with some other name otherwise this program will be overwritten on the program number 5 so for that i will press save as okay and in spite of program number 5 i will store it by the program name of program 6 so now the program is saved and we will run it so it is asking me about the monthly rent suppose i have given the monthly rent as 299 number of calls as 52 number of sms as um, suppose it's 62 so now we get the details that the call charges will be 62.4 sms charges is 49.6 the bill amount is 411 service tax is 41.1 and after getting the adding the bill amount and the service tax we are getting the final bill to be paid as 452.1 okay so in this way we have solved this question so uh, <coughs> we have solved some questions related to the arithmetic operators okay so there is one more question given to me and the question is write a program to find area of a triangle using heron's formula okay all of you know that what is basically the heron's formula <coughs> in the heron's formula you know that uh, uh, let me uh, open an application for so that i can develop the code okay i am just opening the ms paint okay right so uh, the, now the ms paint is open in front of me okay and uh, i'm going to design the logic building in this area so what is basically the aim given to me so the aim given to me is basically that i have to find the area of triangle so uh, the aim is basically to find the area of triangle okay and for that we have to uh, use the heron's formula with this okay so we know that the uh, area of the triangle using the heron formula the formula is already defined to us and the formula for finding the area is basically that is equal to first the square root of s then bracket within bracket i will have to write s minus a okay then s minus b and after that s minus c where this a b c are basically the sides of the triangle okay s minus c right and how we get the value of s for finding the value of s the formula is basically s is equal to this is a plus b plus c okay so that's it and divide by 2 so this is basically the for aim for finding the area and this is the formula okay so obviously for finding the area we have to get the values of those variable which is given at the right hand side of the equal to over here we have to find the value of a b c and s okay <coughs> so uh, we will do the second part that is called as the data collection okay in the data collection the value of a b and c right so uh, these are basically the three sides of the triangle okay so the value is not given in the question the value is not given and uh, but you can see that there is also no criteria given for them that okay you can find the area of uh, three sides of the uh, triangle by using this concept no nothing is given to me so what i have to do i have to take the value of all these three sides of the triangle from the user right along with that a, a one variable is also required that is s okay so the value of 
S is not given to us in the question. Okay. There is nowhere given that the value you should take the value of S as 50, 20, nothing is given. Okay. But in this question, we know that the uh, there is a criteria for finding the value of S. And what is that criteria? Criteria is basically this formula. Okay. That A plus B plus C, the entire divide by 2 is basically the criteria for finding the value of S. Right. So once we get the value of S, then we have to find the, then the last step is basically the process. Okay. We have the value of A, B and C with us and with the help of those, I can also find the value of S. Now we are left with the process part. Process. So after getting the value of A, B and C and S, I have to find the square root of it. But how should I get the square root? Okay. So in this case, I'm going to explain you that there is a module the name of that module is basically math okay what is basically a module module is basically a file in which various predefined options are there or you can say predefined functions are there okay and what we can do with the help of uh, just by adding that module in my program that if i add the math module in my program then after adding that module i can use any of the program any of the function which is present in the module file okay so in the module file there is a function named as sqrt and this function can be used to find the square root of any number all right let me just explain you over just over here that suppose if we want to find the square root of suppose 17 right so we can use this with the help of the function that is sqrt right and how we can find we have to just write this number within the bracket after the sqrt function okay so when this line executes this will find the square root of 17 right so obviously as we see that we have to find the area so how we are going to find the area as we have included suppose we have included the module math then uh, for using that module first i have to write the name of the module that is the name of the module is basically math then dot and after that I have to write the name of the function of that module which I want to use so I have I want to use this sqrt function and within the bracket of this sqrt I will write this entire statement so s okay now after that as I told you that uh, system will not automatically understand that we have to multiply the value of s with s minus a no we have to put this star symbol to indicate the system that obviously you have to perform multiplication operation over there. So S minus A, okay, and then multiply by the next thing is basically S minus B, right, and then you have to multiply it with S minus C, okay so this is basically the use of that function so you can see that if we do the process then we get the value of the, the uh, area of the triangle by using this Heron's formula and once you get the result okay so now once this formula is solved by the system then you get the result and now what you have to do you have to simply show the value of area to the user as a answer okay so now the logic is completely available. Let's see how we write the code of it. Okay. So this is my program. So this is my previous program. So first I will remove the entire code and let me do one thing first. I will save it. Okay. So save as and in spite of program number six, I will write program number seven. Okay. So as I told you that in this case, we have to use the math module. So how we can add math module in our program for that? I have to write import and then I will write math. Okay. So in this way, a math module is added in my program. Now I can use any of the function which is present in this math file in my program. Okay. So you can see in the data collection, we have to first get the value of ABC. So a is equal to int enter first side of triangle 
right so similarly what we will do uh, we will take the all three sides of the triangle then this we will write the sec uh, sorry second side of the triangle and we will write the value of b over here and in this we will write the enter the sorry uh, third side of the triangle okay and we will take the value of c after that we have to as you see that uh, once we get the value of abc from the user then we have to find the value of s as per the criteria given in the program that the value of s is a plus b plus c whole divided by 2 so we'll write s is equal to a plus b plus c whole divide by 2 right and uh, <coughs> after getting the value of s we will simply go to find the area that is math dot s q r t and in the bracket you have to write s s minus a multiply sorry uh, s minus b multiply s minus c right so this is the way i find the area of the triangle and then i will simply write print area of triangle is equal to comma area okay so this is the program for finding the area of the triangle and you can see that i developed this program entirely on the basis of this logic building okay <coughs> So after writing the program, let's run this program first. Okay, there is one error. What it will be? Uh, okay. Uh, I just forgot to write one thing that uh, I didn't add input function anywhere in the program. Okay. So it's a big mistake. So first let me add input function in my program. Otherwise without this, input function the system is not going to do any work so now it is asking me about the first side of the triangle suppose i have given the first side as 5 <coughs> after that it is asking me about the second side of the triangle suppose the second side will be 4 okay and after that it asks me about the third side suppose the third side will be 7 okay so now you can see that i get the area of triangle that is 9.797 like this is the basically the area of the triangle okay so i hope you understand that how we are going to use the math module in our program okay so this is the logic building so uh, let's move back to our uh, question series so this is the second program that i have performed based on the math module and there is one more program, write a program to find distance between two points x1, y1 and x2, y2, right? Let me give you the formula for finding the distance between two points. And the formula will be D that is for distance is square root of that is x2 minus x1, okay? whole square plus then we have y2 minus y1 okay whole square so this is basically the formula for finding the distance between two points and you have to do this question yourself okay so these are some questions that we have performed uh, for the arithmetic operators okay so that's all for today in the next lecture we start with some other operators thank you very much